So something slightly different for you guys today. Some of you may have noticed in the last few videos that Tahoe's been looking kind of naked lately. And that's because the roof tent hasn't been on in a lot for probably four months or something. So as it turns out, the stock racks on a Chevy Tahoe are not meant for somebody of my size to be crawling around on the roof. And as a result, my roof was actually damaged and I had to get it fixed. So this month I actually took it to a body shop and had some of the sheet metal repaired where the little rivets that the screws uh, bolt into had been either ripped up or pushed through. First I got that fixed and then I had a custom rail put in. So just yesterday I had this custom rail system put in and what this allows me to do is this rail runs pretty much the full length of my roof and that's going to spread that weight that full full length. It's going to spread out the weight of whatever's on top much much better and hopefully it's going to work pretty well. So now I'm getting this rail kind of put in place. So I got this custom rail set up, installed at a place called, what is it, Rack and Road. But the biggest benefit to this rail system is that it'll be able to withstand the weight, plus it, it comes with a lifetime warranty, or as long as I own the vehicle, um, this thing is under warranty. So if it fails, I have a backup plan, and I did not have that before. So the first time I installed the roof tent, I tried to leave the crossbars on the Tahoe and then put the brackets on with the crossbars already on the car. And it was so difficult. It was really difficult to get the brackets, you know, around the crossbars and then it was hard to get a wrench in there. So what I've done this time is I've actually mounted the crossbars to the bottom of the roof tent with the tent off. That way I can easily access uh, all the bolts and everything. Then carefully measured, hopefully I measured right, and made the spacing between uh, the mounting points for the crossbars the same as the distance between the crossbars on the tent. So hopefully it's all going to install correctly. No idea if it's, how it's gonna go, uh, but I do know that I'm gonna need some help to get it back up on the, on the Tahoe. So in hindsight, it was a mistake to uh, to mount the crossbars to the roof tent. I thought I was saving myself some extra work because last time I couldn't access the bolts when I mounted my, my tent to the top of the first time. I couldn't access the bolts to actually tighten the brackets and it was just huge pain. But these particular crossbars give me enough room where I can easily loosen and tighten the bolts so that wouldn't have been a problem. But what was a problem was that I just didn't measure right and it was all um, messed up and it was a huge pain actually. But that was my fault. User error. Don't try that. The right way to do it is to put the crossbars on, get the tent up there, and then put the brackets on last. That's the right way to do it. So the rails that I went with are these kind of quick release tower rails. So I can undo this and then it just lifts off. So it's like a quick release system, which will be really handy the next time I go to take my roof tent off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of slide the crossbars around, make sure that um, you know the weight is, is as evenly distributed as I can get it, and be very thoughtful about where I'm putting those crossbars. All right, so that's what I got for you guys. A little bit of a different video, but kind of an interesting one if you're into rooftop tents. So take it easy, guys. We'll see you in the next video.